Wisconsinians, and Salishian educators, let us all stand and join the Divis Choral in the singing of the Philippine National Anthem. Let us recite the vision, mission, respect back, and the Bosconian profile. Vision. In the spirit and style of St. John Bosco and St. Mary Mazzarello, we form good Christians and honest citizens. Mission. As an academic Filipino, Catholic, and Salishan educating community, we ensure the holistic formation of the human person using religion as the basis for education through the preventive system of education. We accompany young people, especially those affected by different forms of poverty, to recognize their Christian vocation and in joyful service commit themselves for the common good. Respect back. As a Bosconian, I promise to respect myself and others, treat others with loving kindness, strive to make my words and actions good, kind, honest, courteous, and fair, in order to help create an environment of peace in my school, home, community, and online. The Bosconian Profile for the month of January. A Bosconian is technologically competent. remember that we are in God's presence. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In our morning prayer, let us pray for Sister Rufina Garcia, FMA, who celebrates her birthday today, and for the victims of the Typhoon Raleigh and Ulysses. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she saved by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh. And dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God that we may be worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, 
that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. God is our Father, let us adore Him and offer Him this new day. I adore you, O my God, and I love you with my whole heart. Thank you for having created me, made me a Christian, and watched over me during the past night. I offer you all I will do today. May we be according to your holy will and for your greater glory. Keep me from sin and from every evil. May your grace be always with me and with all those who are dear to me. Amen. Jesus is our brother, and he teaches us the way to our Father. Let us now call on our Father with the words Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, and do not lead us to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us now express our faith, hope, and love to God, whom we have just called our Father, an act of faith. O oh my God, I firmly believe that you are one God in three divine persons, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. I believe that your Son became man and died on the cross to save us. I believe that you reward the good and punish the wicked. I believe this and all that our mother, the church, teaches. Because you, my God, who are infinitely true, have taught us so. Amen. An act of hope. O oh my God, relying on your infinite goodness and promises, I hope to obtain pardon of my sins, the help of your grace, life everlasting, through the merits of Jesus, my Savior. Amen. An act of love. O oh my God. I love you above all things with my whole heart and soul, because you are all good and worthy of all love. I want to love my neighbor as Christ your Son loved us. Amen. May Our Lady, the Mother of Jesus and our Mother, assist us in all our activities today. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In heaven, we have friends who guide us and are good examples for us. Let us call on them as the start of this new day and ask them to help us in our works today. First of all, let us call on our guardian angel. Oh, my good angel, whom God has appointed to be my guardian, enlighten and protect direct and govern me, who have been entrusted to you by the divine mercy. Amen. Let us pray the Oratio Imperata. God our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petitions in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. 
O glorious and blessed Virgin. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Entrustment of the school to Our Lady Help of Christians. Most Holy Virgin Mary, appointed by God to be the help of Christians, we choose you as the mother and protectress of our school. We ask you to favor us with your powerful protection. Preserve our school from every danger, from fire, flood, lightning, storms, earthquakes, thieves, vandals, COVID-19, and from every other danger. Bless us, protect us, defend us. Keep us your own, all the people who study and work in this school. Protect them from all accidents, sickness, and misfortunes. But above all, obtain for them the most important grace of avoiding sin. Mary, help of Christians, pray for all those who study and work in this school, which is entrusted to you for all time. Amen. All Salvation Saints, pray for us. Mary, help of Christians, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us now listen to the Good Day Talk to be given by our school principal, Sister Josephine R. Garza, FMA. Good morning, Sister Pinky. Live Jesus and Mary with joy. Good morning, Vasconians and Salishan educators. Since this is the first time since classes resumed after the Christmas break that I am getting the opportunity to address you all, I would also like to greet you today a happy healthy and holy New Year 2021. I hope you all had a restful and meaningful Christmas break with your families. The past year 2020 was a difficult year for all of us, and perhaps celebrating the Christmas holidays was also different for each one of you. Let us really pray that 2021 will finally see the end of this pandemic so that we can once again reconnect face to face with one another and not have to remain locked in our homes 24 seven. By now, we have already survived the first half of the school year. I really thank the DBS faculty and staff who needed to adjust to this new mode of learning. It was never easy, but they continue up to this day to give their best so that every Pasconian can have the best school experience needed at this time. I also thank and congratulate all of you Bosconians who continue to brave the challenges of this situation, not being able to see your friends on a daily basis, not having the opportunity to run, jump, and play here inside the DBS campus, dealing with internet issues from time to time, and school works that you have to do by yourselves in a different platform, and even the boredom of sometimes uh, being glued to the computer screen for long hours every single day. These are never easy, Busconians, but you have all made it. We never thought we can do it, but we did. So congratulations to you and to all of us. As we begin this third quarter and we are asked to deepen the Busconian profile, which is about being technologically competent, let us continue to put our energies skills and talents into being positive presences, especially in the online world. For a Bosconian, and even for us, your solution educators, now that we have been doing our online classes, technological competence is surely something that we all have grown into this year. By this time, we all can say that we have new technological skills which we have developed, thanks to the online nature of our classes. It is my hope, therefore, that as students and educators of Don Bosco School, Manila, we are using our know-how for some good outcomes. If you look around and you feel what the world needs now, we all know that it is hope. Due to the challenges of this pandemic, many people's hope are nothing but flickering realities in danger of being fully extinguished as we continue to deal with this uh, difficulty. I invite you, dear Bosconians and Salishan educators, let us make use of technology and the internet to enkindle 
or rekindle the hope of others. Make it your own commitment during this new year. Remember HOPE as an acronym, H-O-P-E. Let it stand for our commitment to help one person every day. HOPE, H-O-P-E, help one person every day. Through the good thoughts and kindness that we should especially show in the virtual world, in the internet, let us make people's sense of hope grow stronger. Help one person every day to nourish their hope, most especially their hope in God. We know that He is the one who is in control of our lives and of what is going on in the world today. Let us hope in Him and let us help others, one person at a time every day, through social media and the internet, to focus our hope in Jesus. Good day, everyone, and God bless us all. Thank you, Sister Pinky. Live Jesus and Mary with joy. Let us now sing our alma mater song to be led by our very own Don Bosco School Corral. <laughs> 